The sound of gunshots and then chilling screams caught on camera there after officers say they were forced to fire on a teenager. They were responding to a mental health call when things took a turn. And now that teen is sharing his side of the story. And Local 10's Andrew Perez joining us live now from Miami with our exclusive tonight, Andrew. Well, the, yeah, that young man is now 18 years old. He had a very honest, a very difficult conversation with us saying at the end of the day, he knows he's very lucky to be here. You hear the shots fired, screams reaching across the street. <coughs> Paramedics running for cover after police say they were forced to shoot a teen inside that home. I'm sorry for the cops that had to go through that. I'm sorry that any human being had to like go through that in the first place. Mario Arangis was only 17 years old at the time, speaking exclusively with 10 now after the state attorney's office announced the officer's use of force was justified. Arangi says he's thankful. It was a tough time in his life. I, I regret doing it, and I, I went through the, the process of, of, of uh, going through the treatment, the therapy, and, and psychiatry. So, of course, I want to run. Newly released body cam video shows the scene back in November. Miami police responding to the home off Southwest 19th Terrace near 17th Avenue after Arangis's father called officers for help. <laughs> You see his mother allow police into the home, the parents believing he might have overdosed and was struggling with a really bad breakup at the time. First responders move on in. While examining the teen, the report says he abruptly went into his room and grabbed this, what appears to be a gun in his hand, turned out to be an airsoft pistol, yelling threats to police, forcing the officer to fire. <laughs> Officers radioed for help, then the video cuts away, you later see blood left inside. He was rushed to the hospital with a bullet in his chest and said, the last year has been life-changing, looking to set the record straight, turn it around, and make amends. As I was in a bad place, I was depressed, and I guess I wanted them to like shoot and kill me. It was like suicide by cop. I'm going to college, um, I'm, I'm looking to join the Coast Guard, and, and yeah, I'm moving on with my life. I mean... You know, I mean, I would love to say sorry to, to, the, to the police officer. And again, the gun that he had was pretty much like a BB gun. The state attorney's office now saying once again that this case is closed, that the use of force was justified, and now begins a new chapter. It's the latest here in Miami. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Andrew, thank you.